everybody, I'm Richard Holdner. Welcome to the channel. Please, before we get going, make sure, like, share, subscribe, ring the bell, do all that stuff so you get notified when I do all of this cool testing. And speaking of cool testing, let's take a look at the test we're doing for today. That is a Brian Tooley Racing NSR Truck Norris Cam on our 4.8 liter. If you take a look at the other video that I already posted on that 4.8 liter, I got it from the wrecking yard, but it was in less than ideal shape. And by that, I mean, it didn't even run. So in part one of the video, I fixed all of the problems. There were a lot of them. I fixed all of the problems, got it on the dyno and actually got it running. And now it's running well enough to use as a test motor. So today we've got a camshaft comparison. We're running the stock LR4 camshaft and comparing it to the new Brian Tooley Racing NSR truck Norris cam. And the NSR stands for no springs required. What that means is, is that we can take this camshaft with the stock springs that are already in this used junkyard motor and put this camshaft in without upgrading the springs. The question is, how well does this low lift truck Norris cam actually work on our 4.8 liter? Well, as we always say, there's only one way to find out. Let's get to the dyno. Hey guys, if you're new, welcome to the channel. But what happens if you have a question? Hey, I saw this video, but I wanted to ask Richard a question. Well, you're in luck. You get to do that. Join us nightly, 7 o'clock Pacific Standard Time on the live feed. You can come on, join the group. If I don't have an answer to your question, chances are there are lots of bright guys. They might have an answer. So if you've got a question about any of the video that you just saw, or maybe you're working on a project, Join us live, 7 o'clock Pacific Standard Time, on this channel. Okay guys, what'd you think? This thing sounds awesome, doesn't it? Even with the stock cam, these 4.8 liters sound great. I moved the mic into the control room so that it wouldn't overpower the mic being in the dyno. It sounds good, it revs up. It, it, seems, it seems like the 4.8 liter is happy and wants to be alive and be used as a test motor. So we ran it first with the stock camshaft. If you take a look at the first video I put up, it shows all the things that I had to do just to get this thing running and it was a lot. One of the cylinder heads was basically almost completely full the intake port and the exhaust port just filled up with carbon as you can see from some of the photos it had a bent valve you can see that here's the here's the valve spinning around you can see it had a bent valve that hit the piston we had to change we just put another used valve in it it had a couple of broken rockers a broken push rod it had a few things going on that had to be fixed but nothing that was insurmountable i actually had to replace that camshaft and i think i put the camshaft from the L33 into this motor. We had to replace one of the lifters. You know, it was a lot of stuff. Usually when I grab a motor from the wrecking yard, they work out very well. They just want to come here and run and be alive. This one fought a little bit, but now it's up and running and ran great. And what we did was first run it with the stock camshaft, stock cylinder head, stock springs, stock truck intake manifold, stock throttle body. We did run long tube headers and we ran them as ear electric water pump like we always do. 
This particular motor was equipped with 80 pound injectors because in the past we had used this intake manifold and rail and these injectors on the 5.3 when we ran it under boost with E85. So we wanted to have big enough injectors. This combination obviously doesn't need that really with a stock camshaft. We could just run stock injectors, but we already had these going so it worked out very well. We also ran it instead of the usual Holly HP management system that I run on a lot of this stuff. I tried my hand at a Terminator X and basically in terms of tuning, it's really the same thing. I'm playing with the, the same graph and the same positions and stuff. So it all works out the same. All we had to do is hook it up and set it up a little bit differently, but it all worked out great. So I was able to get this motor on the dyno, put the headers on it, put the Holly stuff on it, get it running and tune it. And here's what happened when we ran this thing with the stock camshaft. So equipped with the stock cam, we produced 326 horsepower and peak torque checked in at 337 and that goes right in line with a number of other 4.8 junkyard motors that I've run and you can see it makes a little bit more torque than horsepower and that's kind of the way that they do fairly typical of a truck motor on the 5.3s and 6.0s this is skewed even more in favor of torque production over horsepower production but now that we've established our baseline with a stock cam it's time to swap cams and then run it with that truck Norris NSR cam Brian Zilli Racing, Truck Norris, NSR. Okay, we've got to hear both of them run. We've got to hear the stock cam version. And then after we swapped in the Brian Tooley Racing no springs required truck Norris cam, we didn't replace the springs. Not only are these the low lift truck springs, but they're old and used and tired low lift springs. This thing even has a valve from another motor. You know, it's got all kinds of issues with the 4.8 liter and yet it works very well. So here's the power output with our stock cam. As a reminder, 326 horsepower and 337 foot pounds of torque. And here's what happened after we installed the no springs required truck Norris cam. You can see we got some pretty good gains. We got gains all the way through the curve, starting at 3000 RPM. And I know for you guys that want it off idle or whatever, we didn't do that. But, uh, according to the guys from Brian Tooley Racing, the truck Norris cam is as good as the stock cam. Uh, when they tested it, they did it on a, on a 5.3. On a 4.8, I would ex expect there to be slight losses down low on a 4.8 on the smaller one, but we saw fairly decent gains. I like the fact that it made at least as much as the stock cam through the lower part of the curve. And then definitely as cams generally do on the LS stuff, you know, made a lot more power up top. So we went from 326 horsepower to 375 horsepower. So we picked up almost 50 horsepower. I mean, that's a pretty big jump peak to peak. And in terms of peak torque, peak torque was up to 353 foot pounds. And again, just kind of better all the way through the curve. And I have to say, I really like the idea of 
you know, for a guy that's trying to save some money, if you don't have to buy the springs in addition to the camshaft, it also makes the swap, it makes it inexpensive, but it also makes it a lot easier. Not having to, to change the springs over can be problematic for guys, but swapping the cam is fairly easy. I mean, it takes a little while, obviously, with the motor in the vehicle, but you can get the cam swap, not have to do the springs. You can just run the stock push rods, <laughs> run the stock rockers. All of that stuff worked out fine. And as you see, this was <laughs> this was not only a high mileage 4.8 liter from the wrecking yard, but not even a really great one. Uh, we had to do a lot of work even to get it to this condition. And after we did, now it seems like it's a runner and it's even better now that it's making 375 horsepower with the Brian Tooley Racing NSR cam. So I'd say that's a win. Okay, guys, what's the takeaway? This Brian Tooley Racing NSR Truck Norris cam test on our junkyard 4.8 liter. Well, we learned the following things. First of all, I like the Truck Norris cam. We've tested it many times. It's worked fairly well. It offers good, like average power production. And it did just that. Even in this low lift form, it worked very well on the 4.8 liter. It did good average power gains in the middle part. Didn't lose any torque from 3000 on up. Offered a good 50 horsepower gain up at the top, which is always welcome. Although I do have to say, we, if you have a 4.8 liter and you're thinking about the Truck Norris cam, I would also start thinking about maybe converter. On a 5.3, it's probably not necessary. On a 6.0, definitely not necessary. But even this low lift version, which I think is awesome, being able to just do the camshaft without changing springs, definitely awesome. But on a 4.8, on the smaller 4.8, I think personally that you should probably think about having a converter because down low, you might be sacrificing a little bit of power, especially compared to like the LR4 and LM7 camshaft. So 4.8 liter, think converter, 5.3, probably not. 6.0, definitely not. I like this new NSR deal. We didn't have to change the springs and we used springs that were like <laughs> a million cycles old. And guess what? It still works. Armature Holder, make sure to like, share, subscribe, ring the bell. I'm reminding you again and I'll keep testing.